Hi, I would really like your help putting together a brand new musical project. Um, in 1998, 1999, uh, when I started playing music, I really honestly got started making music public because there was a small group of people, a really, really short list of people, uh, who convinced me, told me and convinced me that it mattered to them, that I'd I take the things that I've been tinkering with and playing with and even enjoying personally uh, and make them public. A lot has happened since 1998-1999 with my musical career, with my vocational career in general, whether that's become books and storytelling, retreat leading, uh, coaching. Um, a lot has also changed in terms of like my music and my audience. A lot has changed with regards to the industry and the way people engage with music. Something that has remained constant and steady and is perhaps even more true now than it was then. I love writing songs. Uh, it's in me, it's in my skin, I just continue to do it. I don't really ever stop. But the impulse and the desire to galvanize, to put together a collection of songs and make them public uh, it really is uh, energized by uh, you. And not just your attentions as listeners, but this connection that is forged when I get to put together a project with a sense of team uh, in that project. So I have this collection of songs, some of which I've started to record, some stuff I need to finish, uh, that I really actually, I I'm feeling like maybe this should be a public thing. <laughs> I just won't take much joy in doing it just to get it done. I'd love your help to do it. I'd like to do this as a team and do it like I have been doing it since 1998, 1999, that there's a group of people, a relatively short list of people who are saying it matters to me that you take what you're working on privately, personally, and make it public. I'll talk about the themes of this thing in a few moments and I'll talk really specifically about like what you know, logistically, your help and your funding covers with this project. Because it'll cover all kinds of logistical things like players and all that kind of stuff. But the thing that your support financially and otherwise does is it actually galvanizes this thing in me. That it matters more to me. The project matters more to me if I've got a team of people. You make this matter more to me and so I'm inviting you, I'm asking you to help me make this project happen. Now, logistically, what your support will uh, will help with, some of those things are really <laughs> are pretty basic. Uh, studio time, uh, paying Masaki Lu uh, for the time that he already has spent and the time that he will spend recording my work and recording the work of players, also engineering and then mixing uh, with mixing the record. Also paying for these players. Part of that team uh, includes, again, like the, the incredible work of Lewis Patzner and Max Dillon and a few other great, like really great guests like uh, Andrew Osenga, who are, are people that in partnership help me feel more connected to the work that I'm doing. Being able to pay those players for their incredible work um, I, like more deeply galvanizes that sense of team and I'd like to be able to do that. You'll pay for artwork you'll pay for a little bit of the logistical kind of back-end stuff that goes into like making this thing public. But like I said, the biggest thing that comes from you supporting this project is that sense of mattering, that sense of us being in it together. Thematically, the songs have been, uh, this batch of songs are, are collected around really the same observations and energies that brought about the album Deconstruction in 2008. That right around 2005, 2006, paying attention to the culture and the needs of the culture around me, specifically specifically like folks who are caring for people in institutional cultural settings, I noticed the, the process, the practice of deconstruction kind of unnamed happening or beginning to happen like in leaders really specifically. The sort of like dis, the decentralization of things that used to be central and a bit of a disorientation around like who am I, what is this, do I still believe what I used to believe even as I do this. This batch of songs is energized around that same, those same thoughts, those that same idea of deconstruction, but instead of being about the thing and about it philosophically, they're songs that come from uh, stories and uh, conversations I've had as a coach with people who are walking through their deconstructive process and into some form of newness. I wanted to put together a batch of songs that met folks sort of somewhere in the middle and helped move folks towards newness on the backside, 
like in the land on the other side uh, of a deconstructed project, whether that's cultural, institutional, or personal. So thank you. Uh, thanks being, thanks, thanks being. <laughs> Thank you for being in this with me, th this specific project, uh, but all the way up till now, the things that I've done. Uh, Seth Godin, I say this all the time, Seth Godin suggests that art is anything you make that forges a connection between people. This connection between you and I in what I do really does energize the, 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 the public part of what I do in a way that just would not be possible without you. So thank you for being in this with me and in my career in general.